Ain't nothing better than watching you smile Whoa, 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 whoa. Ain't nothing better than watching you laugh Out loud, my baby Ain't nothing better than watching you Be you Hi everybody, it's Patty. I'm back with another video. Um, just banging them out lately. Um, actually, I always do projects, but I always had a problem with the editing and um, the uploading, um, whatnot. So I think I have it down now. It's not causing me two days to do it. Um, I get it done in a few hours now. So um, I'm thrilled about that. So. Um, today I actually um, want to share the three tags I made and these are the Prima doll stamps so I made this one here this one here and this one here I had so much fun making these this one is quite large actually she is really quite large um, high wise about the same just um, She's, she's much wider. This one is definitely a little bit shorter. But they're very cute. Um, I also have um, in this one here um, that I already did a stamp on, uh, a tag, excuse me. Um, so I think my pictures are on my blog and Facebook for that. Um, if anybody's interested and they're having a hard time finding them, I don't know. I know for a while there was a hard time finding these stamps. Um, I do have two extras. Um, they're brand new. Never came out of the packs. If anybody's interested, please just um, private message me um, or just leave me a message uh, under the video and um, I'll get them out to you. Um, I don't know what I paid for them, but um, you know, if anybody's interested, let me know. I could let you know what the, what the cost was and whatnot, okay? Okay, so um, let's see. The first thing I did with these is I used um, the. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That's why I can't wait to get my new video camera so this tripod is not in front of me. I used um, the uh, Julie Nutting tag pad that comes, was made specifically for um, these dolls. Um, they're really cool. Um, the last uh, tag I made. With the other doll, I actually cut it out of this, and it was nice and stable. I mean, they're really, they're, they're very thick. They're really, it's a great tag. And you get 48 in this paper pack, okay? So what I did was, um, I knew I was going to have a lot of flowers and whatnot on it, so I took this tag, let me just move for a second, and then I had these tags from Heidi Swap, and I just layered them. So I did one like that, I did another one like that, and I did another one like that, and then I just had to cut a hole, of course, that. Um, and it also gave me a little bit more width um, to add and play. Okay, so that was that. Um, before I... Um, glued those two together I distressed all the edges with my Prima distressing tool and then I used um, spun sugar and tattered rose um, on the edges then I had taken some cheesecloth and I sprayed it with um, this is saltwater taffy and um, not cactus gold, excuse me. Um, and uh, let's see, Royal Emerald Fire. And I just soaked it up and I dried them out. Once I did that, I layered the cheesecloth between the two and then I glued them together. Let's see if we can see these little pieces sticking out all over see here. Um, and this one here. I love cheesecloth. Like 
I just love the shabbiness that it gives to everything. Okay, so then I put those together. Um, the dolls I stamped on um, the Pixie Glen paper, and I used um, let's see this page here for one of them, and that page there for the two others. It's a nice color, skin tone. Um, so that's what I did there. Uh, then I cut them out and start with this one. Okay, um, so I had glued them together. I, I cut her, I stamped her, and I cut her out. Um, and then I used um, the Copic on her. I'm just learning, so please excuse the coloring on it. Um, and her, she was a little bit darker actually. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't use the polka dot one on her. It was um, another one with the, like a, a grid. Uh, I don't think I have any more left in there. Um, but that was a grid paper. It could have been a scrap actually. Um, I think I made a mistake on her at some point. But um, anything nude to me works. Um, and it was a little bit darker, um, say, than this one there but I think it's great. So then I paper pieced um, this here, and that I used um, the London Market um, paper. Um, let's see, excuse me while I fumble through everything. Um, let me see here. Um, she was Gosh, my thing is like not working right now. I have so much glue on them, I can't even feel what I'm doing. Um, this was for one of them. Um, I probably have no more left. But, um, so I paper pieced um, the dress. I made one piece. Um, and then I put a little piece of lace underneath here which gave it a little bit more dimension, and I stickle the edge, okay? And then I put her aside, okay? After I, I did that, I decided um, to make wings for her, and um, my little girls are my little angels, so that's where I got that from. And um, they're not so little anymore, but uh, anyway, uh, I took a die that I had I cut the bottom off here, and I um, traced on the doily this wing here. The size is actually perfect, and um, I cut it out. This here is also from the doily. It was just a corner, and I thought it made a really cute crown. Um, so then to give them some, um, to harden them up a little bit, because they were very fragile, I used some beauty. I um, did a pink and a white. Um, this one is the pink, and then I use some stickles on it to give it a little bit of sparkle there. Um, and then she was together, so then I put her aside. And then for the tag itself, I just kind of went crazy with some um, of the Lindy Stamp Gang Saltwater Taffy, uh, Royal Emerald Fire. And let's see this one here, Cactus Gold, um, I think Scintillating Silver, and um, Cream Brulee. I love Cream Brulee. That and Jack Frost, like I use pretty much in everything. Um, so I spritzed up the tag, and um, then I... Put, um, there's a couple of pieces of the um, Pixie Glen in here that I just tore up. She's kind of layered on it. You really can't see it at this point so much, but there's just two strips under there. Um, and then a really pretty piece of lace that I layered there. And then um, this was my Nestabilities die here. You could see it, and I stamped it saying "girlfriend" because um, me and my daughters are actually very good friends. 
Um, this resembles my little girl, Raquel, and she is always laughing, like always. She is the funniest little thing. She's the wittiest little girl. She keeps me laughing all the time. Um, okay, so then I had um, used and textured here. I decided after I sprayed to do it, but uh, nonetheless, I used the um, Prima Poppies, Peonies, Poppies and Peonies, and I textured. You really can't see anymore um, on this one. Um, it's, it's kind of all under there. Um, but I know it's there. So I did that, and then I gave it a couple more spritz with the uh, Lindy Stamp Gang. Okay, so um, at that point, then I put the doll on, and I popped her up, um, and I had adhered the wings first, actually, then popped her up. Then an afterthought, I said, let me put some tooling to, you know, just give it a little bit more dimension, keep the wings up, and, um, so I just took the tool, kind of um, folded it in half and kind of fanned it, glued it together, and just stuck it on in. Okay? And then I went crazy with my flowers. Um, this here is Recollections. Uh, recollections. Um, the other flowers are, uh, this is Prima here. These are I Am Roses. This is something I got from Michaels the other day, as well as these Recollections Butterflies. And um, the words here were cut out from, oh gosh, one of the, um, I had in my stash this really cool sheet, and it had all these words on it, so I cut that out from there. Okay, and then just seam binding that I made. Um, just with some um, IT dyed, and then this one I just spritzed with some of my Lindy Stamp Gangs, and then I stamped it a little bit to distress it. And that's it for this one. I think she is so beautiful. I really love the way she came out. So I'm going to call her Raquel because that's my youngest. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, this here is the next one. And predominantly, everything is the same. I did the same process on all of them. I distressed, I inked. Um, actually, here, there's, I stamped a clock in here. I think they all have it, but you can see it on the other one. There's a little clock in there, stamp. Um, and I adhere them together with the cheesecloth. Um, they all have a nestability. Um, a little bit different. This one is an oval. That one was round. Um, her, her dress is paper piece from, um, something in my, uh, excess paper stack. Um, all my, um, trying to use actually all my paper that I have lying around. So, and I love the colors. I thought they were perfect actually. Um, so with her, because she's sideways, I took these wings actually, and I just bent them in half and just give them a little bit, um, you know, so they weren't back to back so you can see the opposite wings. I just kind of um, skewed them a little bit. I put more tooling in there, pop those up. Um, this here is just a little piece of bling I had in my stash there actually. Um, actually, she has it on her waistband as well. She has a little piece of ribbon and um, same thing there. Um, the edge here, I have some fiber trim underneath her dress here, and then I just stick all the edges there. Um, there's also more of the um, peonies and poppy that I um, textured on there. Uh, this uh, stamp was uh, beautiful, and this is more of that... Um, the sheet that I had of all the words. This is uh, remembering little moments. Um, and again, this is a Prima spray here. I don't know what uh, paper collection it's from. I have a very bad habit of taking things out and not putting them back in. The packages, this, opening those packages drives me crazy with the glue and the, uh, I'm, I'm not a very patient person with things like that. 
Um, okay, so then uh, more volume roses. Um, I think this is this is a recollections here. This is Prima again. Um, I'm I'm going to say recollections on that one as well. Um, these actually came from the the spray. I just colored them up a little. A little uh, fabric flower there, and these are some recollections butterflies. And that's really it. I think she came out beautiful again too. A uh, little um, I colored her. Oh, look all this! I can't see these little um, strings until I get all the lights on. When you get older, the first thing to go is your eyes. Um, and then a little metal embellishment there as well on her hair. I'm sorry if I'm all over the board. Um, I'm exhausted right now. Um, so, and then I didn't finish the backs. So I had put my tag. It didn't come out right, so I'm going to do something on there. But okay, so that's that one. And this is the last one. You know, I think they. I, what I like about them is the the wings, and um, they're like very fairy garden fairy kind of look. Um, and I didn't intentionally do it. It just kind of came out that way. You know, when you start off one way and it goes on its own merry way. Well, that's what happened. And I'm very happy. I really like the way they came out. I'm very pleased with them. Okay, so again, same process with the two tags, the nestability. Uh, here you can see more of the um, paper, the strips that I cut. And this is also... I cut that, um, and that's from the Pixie Glen, this here. Um, again, from that sheet of words, sweet, fun, delightful, you are so sweet. This is my daughter, Marissa. Oh, I'm sorry. The other one is my daughter, Deanna. And she's um, always remembering things in the past when she was little and always come up. She's a wild girl, though. This, <laughs> this she's not just... Uh, you know always a sweet little thing she's a crazy little girl she's a uh, very adventurous my Deanna but um, she's been going through letters lately and whatnot so um, that's why I wrote remembering little moments because um, if anybody saw my video the other day my boxes that I did my stack of books um, and she was going through love letters and um, I saw she just had like this crazy little box and I said oh wow you know I had a beautiful box with letters when I was young so anyway that's what gave me the inspiration on that and um, that's why I wrote remembering little moments and she's she's very beautiful they're all very beautiful but um, anyway so rambling on Patty um, okay so here we go with this one. Again, like I said, everything is predominantly the same. Um, and I just added the only other thing with these three little flowers um, that I had gotten yesterday. These were recollections as well. Um, I made my own little spray here. Um, the other two were the Primas. I had no more left. So I just kind of just, um, these are Primas from I don't know which paper pack. Um, but I added that with all the little, um, Iron roses, buds, little flower there. Um, I added some fiber trim here on the top, a little uh, pearl necklace, double row there. A little bit more of the fiber on the bottom here, um, more of that uh, bling there. Uh, paper, a piece of lace there. Uh, sweet, fun, and delightful. You're so sweet. And my daughter Marissa is actually a very sweet young lady. Um, she's a, a people pleaser um, and here is more of the um, the texturizing that I did there I see a little bit more over there this is a recollections flower that I got yesterday I was looking for the prima I think it's uh, Odetta and I couldn't find it anywhere um, not that this resembles it but it's it, it's mixed with lace like this so I kind of grabbed this um, and then more flowers in here. And I just uh, gessoed them a little bit, a little bit of stickles, uh, a little crocheted tiny doily there. And that's it. There's more paper piecing over here. And again with the tool. 
And that's really it. There's more cheesecloth sticking out all over. I really, really love the way these came out. They're, like I said, they look very garden fairy, and um, I'm very happy with them. Um, well, thanks for watching, and if anybody is interested in those two tags, please let me know. Okay? Thanks, all. Bye-bye.